Today, I'm back to share the final four ways that leaky gut can affect the entire body. Are you ready? Let's go. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah K. Hoffman, AKA a gutsy girl. And today we are going to finish up talking about all the different ways that leaky gut will affect your body. In case you're new here, I did write the leaky gut meal plan back in 2019. And so all of my information has been well researched and I am so grateful that I get to share it with you. The next one way that leaky gut affects the body is through infections. The most common causes of GI infections are candida overgrowth, SIBO, which stands for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and intestinal parasites. There are also other less common ones like the Epstein-Barr virus, EBV, and also Lyme disease but so often those with the leaky gut will have these as well. I was one of them. If you know my full story, you know that I had a leaky gut and severe SIBO. They definitely go hand in hand. And so if you've been diagnosed with one of those or you think you might have one of them, consider that you probably have a leaky gut as well. The next one is that leaky gut can affect your metabolism. Have you been having problems with insulin resistance or type two diabetes? If so, your gut might be leaky because having healthy gut bacteria is crucial to maintaining a normal weight and a functional metabolism. That's why I so often will talk about the set point theory. And that is the idea that our weight always will figure out where it should be based on all the factors that uniquely make up us. In other words, if we are sick and we lose a lot of weight or gain a lot of weight, that's because we're sick. When we get better, when we heal our guts, our body will go to the place where it is meant to be. That is one way that you can know you are healing is if your weight tends to just get into a spot where it's not so difficult for you. You're not trying to gain weight and you're not trying to lose weight. You're just being and you're living and it is exactly where it should be. Another way that leaky gut affects the body is through nutrients. Have you had a recent blood panel done and you found that your nutrient levels are seemingly off or really off? That's because when you have a leaky gut, you are not able to absorb the nutrients that you need. And so very often you will find that your simple blood tests are off in their numbers and it is a key indicator that there is something that is going on in your gut, in your microbiome that you should absolutely pay attention to. And last but not least, a way that leaky gut affects the entire body is through the skin. The skin is one of the largest detox organs. But leaky gut often triggers inflammatory skin issues. But most people with a leaky gut don't just get the occasional breakout here and there. No, instead, it tends to get pretty bad. In fact, when my gut was leaky, I had massive perial dermatitis that covered my face. That would be an example of a skin issue and how leaky gut has affected that too. During these last two videos, I have shared with you eight different ways that leaky gut affects the body. Are you relating to any of them? Do you see yourself in many of those scenarios that I described? If so, please consider healing your gut, your body, your entire body will thank you for it. I will be back very soon with more information on leaky gut syndrome. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, leave me any questions, comments below, and I will see you again next time.